So apparently guys, I told you people I'm done doing updates regarding Chini. Chini is exposed, she's out of the series. I told you guys I'll be doing updates regarding Daria that will soon enter up this week on the series. But however, before Daria entrance, or should we say after Daria entrance, one of the major episodes you're expecting happening. This episode I'm actually updating you guys is happening upper week. That is by Monday of next week. Akash and Kia getting exposed. And this was um as a result of what Akash did eventually, because um previous episode or the introduction episode of Daria, I told you people that they wanted to like bring up the case of the fraud they committed in the office, but Rudra and the family like showed them that like they're still dealing with how to expose Chini and other stuff. And now that they have exposed Chini, the guy went Akash went and framed um Daria, and now his plans have backfired as he got him exposed. Now Emily and Ata find out that he is actually evil and also he's been lying, scheming and doing stuff against their company and they're coming to confront them. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us talk about it. So the episode starts um Emily tells Ata that they can't judge people based on their financial status and consider others lesser than them because it is a big sin. Ata says that he is right. He needs to confront Akash. Akash drives his car home feeling good, thinking that he dumped his sin on Daria and thinks that what can he do if a poor man is meant to pay for his rich sins. Atav with him reaches home and insists Akash to speak to him now. Devika runs out and panic and points inside home. Daria locks the house from inside and breaks things to retaliate Akash at. His aide notices a gold watch and asks if he can keep it. Daria says that they came here to break the house and not to steal. The head also says that let us break all the things. Ataf tries to open the door and Emily tries to open the door with their hair pain. Daria opens the door. Ataf throws Daria. Daria opens the door. Ataf throws Daria's collar and shouts, How dare you break into this house? Daria says his brother broke his house too, so it is retaliatable. Ataf says that he would have apologized for his brother's act, but he made his mother cry. Daria says that even his brother made his mother cry. Why is the law inequal for the rich and the poor? The brother that um, Daria is referring to that broke into their house and destroyed everything they had is actually Akash. Akash went to Daria's house and broke everything so that they really framed Atav and so that they framed the Daria guy that just entered to uh, be responsible for uh, mismanagement and stuff in their company if you're actually following the story. So now the Daria who is actually hot-headed now came to run a family as well to destroy their own stuff. And now Daria says that even his brother, that is Akash, made his mother cry after breaking all their things. So why is the law unequal for rich and poor people? Akash provokes Sudra against Daria and asks why is he listening to an employee who stole their money. So apparently the money they now stole, that is the um Akash stole, they want to like blame it on Daria. If you're understanding the story that I'm actually telling you guys here. And then Daria says that he didn't steal the money. Consider Rudra is his guru, that is his mentor, and will never compromise his dignity. Kia shouts that he broke their costly showpieces and is wrongly accusing Akash. Emily says that Daria is not lying as his mother told him that he was with her when they attacked and that they were present when Rudra's gun attacked Daria's house. Atav says yes and Rudra let Daria go. Akash says that he is trusting an employee and a newcomer, Emily, over him. Rudra slaps him and repeatedly Rudra slaps him repeatedly and dismisses him from the company forever. Better for you. In the evening, Atav walks to Emily and notices her poem, her written poem. She recites a poem for him. He claps and says that she, that she is a voice of deprived. Emily says that she is happy that he could help Daria or else nobody would have listened to a poor man. Atav says that he wants to talk to dad to do something for his employee's benefit. He says that this is a good idea. He coughs. He goes to bring water for him and hears Rudra discussing with Manish about Akash fraud. And says a father's heart never accepts the son's misdeed. Rudra notices her and smiles. Emily asks if she can help him. Rudra asks him to just smile and concentrate on her and Atav's relationship. Emily says, How can she smile? When she, she next passes by Devika's room and hears Shivani asking Devika to forgive Akash, and Devika tells that all children are busy in their own task who will take care of their family business. She walks in and says that she understands Ma and Papa's concern and has found a solution. Atav writes a song and composes it and returns to Emily and says that she wants to talk to him. He asks her to go ahead and says that she wants to talk about um, Papaji, that is Rudra, and says that when father showed that a low word with body, it is children's responsibility to support him. They cannot trust Akash, so Atav should support his father's business in a few days. 
taking out some time for his music. Ata says that he understands what she means but doesn't have any knowledge about their businesses. Emily says that she should. Emily says that he should. Emily says that they should try and, re and reminds Rudra sacri and reminds um Atav of Rudra's sacrifices for him and apparently um, um Atav now started working in their company replacing Akash who has been dropped forever according to the story and I know sure that he'll try to get back but for now he's not getting back he and his wife have been exposed and um yeah this is how they got exposed thanks for watching and I'll see you next time and um bye guys.